freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And a king, yes, a king he will be. After a few glorious days of freedom, Golden realized that much as she loved Thara and all her high country friends, she was too used to her life with the man. And while she was grateful to Thara for his understanding, it was still hard to say goodbye. Come along, Thara, don't be sad, tut tut. Golden will be no further than the man's hut. That's true, Mopok, but the man thinks I'm dead and I want to keep it that way. I must keep my distance. No damage, eh, Golden? Oh, that's good. You got yourself a bit dirty, though. Still nothing a good brushing won't get out. Couldn't find the silver brumby, eh? No surprise there. He disappeared over a cliff some time ago. Phew, all this hot weather. I might zoom down and swipe a drink from the man's horse trough. Hello, hello, hello. So, Goldilocks is back with the man, eh? The boss heard she was on the loose. The drink can wait. I'd better go tell him. What news, Karawang? Ah, Golden is back with the man, mighty sire. Uh, interesting. The last I heard, she was seen saving Thaura from falling over a cliff. <laughs> Trust that weakling to need a filly to save him. That's right. Could never happen to you, O oh master of the mystic mountains. But if she's been recaptured, Thaura will be pining away for her. May even attempt to free her. Good thinking, sire. He may well do just that. Get airborne, Karawang. Keep an eye on things and report back to me if Thara turns up. Aye, aye, El Supremo. Just as, as soon as I've had a drink. Now, Karawang. Now. All right, I'm going. No drink yet. I'm going. <laughs> Miserable tyrant. Be back soon, Golden. With this dry weather, I'm gonna check on the stock. Hit up! <sighs> Man going gallop about, eh? I better keep my eyes peeled. If Thaura's gonna show, now will be the time. <laughs> what in trembling tadpoles is that? It's a portrait of an incredibly good look. Just a minute. That's me. A mobile pool without the ripples. Something to admire yourself in. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful when you're angry, Karawong. <laughs> 
the mighty Brawl is gonna love this. my instructions. Uh, instructions, holy horsefulness, but... Silence, Dolt! I distinctly told you no drink. But here I find you flapping about enjoying yourself, guzzling down half the river. But, but you don't understand, mighty sire. There was this, this reflective thing, like a mobile pool of water. I was on my way bringing it to you when I was attacked by this huge, mean eagle, which I defeated in mortal combat. <laughs> <laughs> if the kookaburra wasn't laughing, I would be Karawong. And what's this about a mobile pool? But you could see yourself in it, sire. You've drunk so much of the river of water on the brain. Oh, but it's true, mighty sire. This reflective thing dropped to who knows where and... Find it, Karawong. Bring it back to me. Find it? Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, it dropped, you see, when I was just... Find it, Karawong! <laughs> yes, find it, yes, uh, yes, find it. Oh, righty, oh, mighty Brolga. Oh, yes, you can count on me. And don't come back without it! Find it? Easy for him to say that. Should be as easy as finding an echidna quill in a haystack. Find it. Uh, hold it. Uh-oh. Where do you think you're going? Uh, to play with Worry and Bindi? Oh, no, you're not. Even dingo pups have the good sense to stay in the shade on a day like this. Well, maybe I could get some food. No point. <clears throat> Nothing up there. Dried to a crisp. If you're hungry, we put plenty in store last winter. Still some left. Oh, but I'm bored. Stuck in here all day. Yeah, well, better bored than burnt. You can go out when the evening brings a drop in temperature. Until then, you stay put. Oh, but father! Count yourself lucky. <laughs> We're surviving because we live underground, in the cool. And if fire breaks out, we are There's no fire, father! It's not a smoke. And what would you know? You're staying inside, and if you get bored, you can play with... with that skink on your flaming head. Hmm, let's see now. It was somewhere around here that I dropped that darn thing. I could ask Golden, but all I'd get is some goody-goody lecture about not stealing things. Karawong! Look out! Eh? You overgrown feather duster. Ah! Oh, hey, 
What's this? <laughs> I don't believe it. It's the reflective thing, <laughs> but broken. Mm, I wonder if I can get a bit of it back to show the Brolga. Disobeyed me, Karawong. I said no drink. Oh, but, but, but I wasn't, Super Sire. You don't understand. I was following your instructions when this eagle. What? No more eagle tails, Karawong. I suppose you sent this one to its doom, too. Well, uh, uh, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I told you to bring back this reflective thing. Now, where is it? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, sire. I found it, but it, it was broken into little pieces and somehow caused f f f fire to break out. Fire? And where, pray tell, is this fire now? Uh, 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 right back over there, sire. Huh? What? You sit there spinning yarns about eagles when a fire is breaking out. Get airborne, Karawong. Check on it and report back to me. Aye, aye, El Capitano. And no drinks! Oh, no! The fire's spreading, and the man's not back yet. upsetting them. Stone the crows. Too much smoke for a campfire. Clumsy twit has a fire on the go. This is definitely something Thaura should know. Oh, I say, do you smell something funny? Yes, Mew, I do believe I do. Oh, it smells familiar, though, eh? Yes, Mew, it does. It kind of smells like smoke. <gasps> oh, oh, no! no! What's going on? Oh, whoops. Sorry, Father. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Can't a wombat get in an afternoon snooze without being rammed? Fire, Father. Over near the man's hut. Oh, so what? We're safe and sound in here, like I told you. That's his problem. But it's golden, Father. She's trapped and yelling for help. Oh, typical. And what were you doing out there anyway? Uh, you told me to play with the skink and it ran off. Just doing as I was told? Oh, all right, smart Alec. Now, you stay here. I'll go and check it out. Oh, Dad! I said stay here. <laughs> oh, no, 
sign of the man! And the fire's spreading! Faura, <laughs> Faura, where can you be? Please reveal yourself to me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mopoke, Mopoke, Murpoke, what's up? Golden's in a panic and raising a shout. She could be grilled by a fire that's broken out. Golden? Fire? Lead the way, Mopoke. What am I supposed to do? I'm just a currawong. <laughs> Those flames will reach Golden in a matter of minutes. We must be able to do something. Wombat coming through. Wombat coming through. <laughs> Wombat? You're a sight for sore eyes. Good on you. No wishy-washy platitudes, if you don't mind. It's too hot to hang around. Now, let's do something about saving Golden. Yeah? Something like what? Boon Boon and Mopoke, spread out. Find the man and see if you can lead him back here. A wombat, you and I will circle around and see what can be done from the other side. <laughs> and you stay right where you are, Karawong. Don't get in the way. In the way? Oh! I'm on my way. Golden! Thara! I knew you'd come! We've got to get you out of here. Fire spreading. You must jump the railings. I can't. I've already tried. Well, then you must try again. <laughs> no way. I... I just can't! <laughs> <laughs> then there's only one thing for it. Wombat, you start digging at the base of the fence post. I'll kick. Ooh! Ooh! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Mopoke, have you found him? The man's just over the next rise. I give you my word, I tell no lies. Thanks, Mopoke. You're a legend. A Brumby. Yeah! from the hut. So that's what the Brumby's up to. Thaura! The heat! The flames are so close now! <laughs> We're going as fast as we can. Don't panic, Golden! <laughs> but the flames! <gasps> so, they want old Karawong to stay out of the way, do they? <laughs> I'll show them. Thara! Thara! The heat! It's too much! The flames! Hang on, Golden! Ah! Carol! <laughs> Keep kicking, 
stupid. I can't do it all myself. for Carol. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Why, thank you, thank you, one and all. Unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, I would just like to say... All I can say is it's such a relief that the man's hut was saved from the flames. Ooh, ooh. The old prospector was quite near. He and the man showed no fear. With buckets of water, the hut was saved. Oh, 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 what a cheer. Yes, it was such a relief. I'd better get back to him. He'll be wondering what's become of me. Just before you go, Golden, do you have any idea how the fire started? Oh, well, uh, I'd really rather not say. Oh. How about you, Karawong? You're the hero of the day. Any ideas? Oh, um, I, I, I just realised I have a previous appointment with my master, the Brolga. Uh, by all. Hey, <laughs> come back, hero. Hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion the whole story may never be known. And where the Karawong's concerned, it's probably just as well. <laughs> <laughs> so the creatures of the high country experienced another brush with fire. And through this they learned that Karawong wasn't all bad. Golden returned to the man, but soon another welcome stranger would join their numbers. Suffering drought and fire, the animals of the high country now find themselves lashed by storm and heavy rain. Heavy rains often cause normally dry, dusty roads to become dangerous and hazardous for any traveler.
yummy berries, Mew. Mm, very yummy. And look, there's a whole lot more over there. Oh, come and have a look at this, Mew. What do you think it is? Oh, I've no idea. I've never seen one of these before. Me neither. <laughs> Typical, typical. Can't get a good sleep in no matter what. Nothing but noise, noise, noise. <laughs> oh, well. Might as well get an early start now that I'm awake. Have an early breakfast. Mm. <laughs> ah, shut up, you giggling imbecile. <laughs> If it's not gang gangs, it's flaming feather brained cooker bubbers. Hey, what's that? <laughs> Definitely heard something that time. Something big, like a brumby. And it's following me. Come out and show yourself, I know you're there. Won't come out, eh? <laughs> typical, typical. Can't walk through the bush, mind me own business, without being stalked by a brumby. Just so big! Oh, I couldn't believe my eyes! And the roar! It was so loud it made the leaves shake on the trees! And the teeth! You should have seen the teeth! <laughs> big and sharp! Hmm. Doesn't sound like anything I've ever seen. What do you make of it, Benny? Judging by the description, and allowing for exaggeration, there's only one thing it could be, Thara. A large wild cat. <laughs> A large wild cat? Oh, you got to be joking. No cat ever grew to that size. Though it kind of looks like one. A huge, shaggy wild cat. Oh, yeah. A huge wild cat with huge teeth and a huge roar. <laughs> oh, panic, panic, panic! Did you hear that distant roar? For the creatures of the high country, there's a shock in store. <clears throat> oh, no flaming pussycat, giant or otherwise, ever got the better of old Wombat. Family, follow me. <laughs> take care of him for the moment. Yes, but he could be back meaner and angrier than ever. We must be on our guard. Two again. What brings you back to these parts? Keep your shirt on, old timer. We're here on legitimate business this time. We got a job with the circus. Yeah. Have you heard about that lion that's on the loose? Lion? So that's what it was. Oh, I haven't seen it, but I've certainly heard it. Yeah? Where? 
It escaped along with a few elephants and giraffes. But we got them back. It's our job to get it. Dead or alive, I suppose. That's right. Have gun will travel. <laughs> but there's a bonus in it if it's alive, see? They're worth money, those big cats, you know. Hmm, really? Yeah, who knows what damage it could inflict on the wildlife. That's right. Well, it sounded like it was somewhere up near the Sentinel. But, uh, who knows where it is by now. Well, that'll do for starters. Thanks, mate. Who says trappers don't have their uses, eh? Blimey. Who'd ever have believed I'd be helping those two? Never seen anything that looked like that before, boy. Looks dangerous. It's bad enough hearing the giant cats growl without the trappers being on the prowl. Hey, <laughs> mate, did you hear that? Yeah, so what? That lion sounds pretty ferocious and pretty close. Don't worry about a thing, mate. This time tomorrow, he'll be safely in that cage on the back of the ute. Yeah, well, I just hope he realises that it's us that's hunting him and not the other way round. Whatever next. Master, master. Karawong. What is it now? Giant cat on the rampage, holy haughtiness. Giant cat. <laughs> so what did it do, Karawong? Eat a giant mouse. <laughs> Laugh if you will, sire, but I kid you not, this is the most frightening creature ever to set foot in the high country. Just how frightening can a pussycat be, Karawong? And of what possible interest could it be to me? Well, mighty monarch, uh, we all know you are king of the Cascade Brumbies. Yes? Well, well, you see, this thing has the potential to be king. Uh, well, <laughs> king of everything. <laughs> king of the jungle, so to speak. <laughs> Do you dare suggest, Karawong, that some miserable flea-bitten cat could steal my thunder? Huh? <laughs> That's him, sire. Huh. 
Perhaps this warrants further investigation. Where do you suppose such a creature could come from, Benny? Beats me. Never in all my years in the high country have I heard of anything like it. Cats which have gone wild can be a pest as it is, but if they're all going to grow to this size, we're in big trouble. We'll just have to hope it's a freak of nature. Opuk! Opuk! Hi, Mopoke. Any news? The giant wild cat had the dingoes on the run. They were saved by the man and his noisy gun. His gun? What happened? The bullet only caused him to flee. The cat's demise was not to be. Hmm. We'd best go our separate ways and spread the word. Mopoke, could you get airborne and act as a lookout? I'll take off and observe from the air. Perhaps I'll discover the giant cat's lair. <laughs> Right, Karawong. Get down here. Your wish is my command, sire. Good. I'm glad that's understood. Now, all I want you to do is stand right here. And you're not to move. Not to move, sire? That's right. And you're to call out, Pussy, Puss, Puss. Nope. Pussy. Puss. Puss. That's right. And under no circumstances are you to move. Understood? Uh, but the giant cat might hear me, sire, saying pussy. Puss. Puss. That's the general idea, Karawong. Uh, but, but, but the creature's big teeth, sire. <laughs> I might get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Karawong. I'll be right behind those bushes. As soon as it arrives, I'll jump out and give it a thrashing. It'll never forget. Oh, but, sire, it moves with the speed of lightning. You don't realize you haven't seen it in action, have you? <laughs> Stay right here and don't move. Is that understood? But, but is that understood? Aye, aye, sire. Good. Right, Karawong. Yell out. Yell out, I said. Pause, pause, pause. Louder, Karawong. Uh, pussy, puss, puss. Louder! Pussy, puss, puss! Ooh. Mighty Brolga, you'll find you have much to fear if you care to look to your rear. You moth-eating excuse for a floor rug. The giant wildcat's been heard roaring its head off over near the Sentinel. The Sentinel? The Brolga's territory. If that cat meets up with him, he may well end up feeling sorry for himself. The Brolga's not one to trifle with. <clears throat> yeah. I showed him a thing or two about trifling with wombats. Mopoke. Mopoke. Hi, Mopoke. Anything to report? I've just seen something I'll tell you no lies. It was so amazing I could scarcely believe my eyes. Huh? What was it? The Brolga forced to run for his life. 
The giant cats caused him no end of strife. The brogger run for his life? That would have been something to see. Oh, yes, but it has serious implications for the rest of us, I'm afraid. I know what you mean, Thara. If it can defeat the brogger, there's not a single creature in the high country that's safe. Yes, but I've been giving the problem some thought, Benny. Oh? And you come up with an idea? It's a long shot, but it just might work. I'll need your help, Wombat. And yours also, Mopoke. And Kookaburras as well. The giant cats emerged into the sun. Now's a good time to make your run. Good luck, Thara. should we? Yes, you've been a very bad cat, running amuck through the high country, chasing animals and scaring them. A cat? Who are you calling a cat? You miserable old wallaby? Wallaby? Who are you calling a wallaby? Don't you know a grey kangaroo when you see one? Of course I do, but I just thought I'd see how you liked it. So if you're not a cat, <laughs> what are you? I'm a lion, of course. A very hungry lion. Ah, of course, a lion. I've heard of them. I was born and bred in a circus, but kind of escaped, whether I liked it or not. Now it all makes sense. But none of this is an excuse for you terrorizing the creatures of the high country. Lions are born to hunt. We've got a right to live too. But the only life I know is circus life. I didn't ask to come here. All I want to do is get back home to a good feed. I'm hungry. Hmm, he does have a point, Thara. He's just a victim of circumstance. Yes, I guess so. But I don't know how to get him out of there. What goes down doesn't necessarily come up. <laughs> so I'm to be stuck here till I starve to death? <laughs> it's not fair. And it's not my fault. <laughs> now, now look, don't get upset. I'm sure we'll think of something. Lions in this world are all too few. I think the old prospector would know what to do. Good thinking, Mopoke. Come on, Thara. Let's go and fetch him. <laughs> We all 
thought the lion was such a ferocious thing, but as it turned out, he had very little sting. <laughs> 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 All that glitters is not gold. And the creatures of the high country had now learnt that the opposite was also true. That which at first seems frightening may not be so. It may just appear that way. But the stormy weather that had brought the lion was yet to bring more trouble to the high country.